trying to set it up so I can take a video. It is currently noon. I had a little bit of a late start today. Brand and I actually woke up late for our workout. I completely missed it. I'll post the story that my trainer posted in his story. It was super shady. But today I'm actually getting a little bit of work done. I'm making some ramen for lunch. I'll show you the way that I have been making it lately because I actually get a lot of questions. Today is actually a busy work day. I'm actually meeting Rachel for dinner later tonight. It's been a while since I've seen her, but this weekend, was super fun. I got to hang out with some of my Seattle friends that I haven't seen in a really long time. Sydney is actually a streamer on Twitch and her and I have been best friends for since I lived in Seattle and she actually moved out here last November and she lives so far away from me that we haven't been able to spend a lot of time together and on top of that she doesn't have a car so it has been really difficult to hang out but recently we've been seeing a little bit more of each other and it's always kind of refreshing to reconnect with old friends so we spent all day saturday at the beach we played monopoly deal which Bray and i are now obsessed with it is such a fun card game we played some spike ball saw the sunset made dinner it was so nice and then sunday yesterday we went to the flea market and that was actually the rose bowl it's the first time that the rose bowl has opened up since lockdown so it's been over a year and a half since i have last been there and it was huge it was almost like overwhelming that flea market is so big but if you're ever in LA the second Sunday of every month is when the Rose Bowl happens it only happens once a month so that was super fun I only picked up a hat and a pair of Carhartt pants so it was a smaller haul it was mainly just to spend time with the girls Ginny uh, followed along as well and yeah so today I'm just catching up on work because I did absolutely no work during the weekend which kind of felt great but now I'm like I need to work <laughs> Back to my ramen. First, cook the noodles. And then once that they are like 75% cooked, I'm actually gonna go ahead and drain the water. Then I filled it with fresh new water and now I'm adding all the sauces to it. This is the ramen that I'm having today as well. It kind of varies depending on what I'm feeling, but I usually like Shin Ramen and it's available H Mart, 99 Ranch, any Asian market, sometimes even like American grocery stores have this. So we'll let it simmer for a little bit. It's on low to medium heat, but the secret sauce is adding kimchi. My girlfriend Ginny taught me how to do this and I don't have very much left, so I'm just gonna add all of it. And this just helps to add a little bit of extra flavor. It's a nice mix of veggies as well. So we're gonna go ahead and let that simmer. Once it is simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and add an egg to it. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Nice. Then I'm gonna turn down the heat to low and I'll just let it simmer for about three minutes. Important to keep the lid on so the egg cooks. That egg is looking perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, let it cool for a second, and then we're gonna eat. Okay, getting ready to eat. I always have seaweed. This is 
One of my favorite brands. This one's wasabi flavor, but I normally just get original. And dinner is served. Lunch, what am I talking about? Hot. Mmm. Yummy. And this egg is perfect. Yeah, we'll just be missing on the vlog or whatever. Cheers! It's a girl's night out. Okay, so I just filmed a little TikTok on this look. It is a full face of rare beauty, and I feel like it is so fresh. So pretty, and then I'm wearing my girlfriend Naomi Boyer's hoops that she did in collaboration with Miranda Fry. These are super cute, and then I'm also wearing like her necklace. I just like changing up the jewelry from time to time, and I feel like the chunky jewelry is kind of a vibe. And I'm also currently getting ready to film a haul. This is what it looks like. Uh, I actually got a lot of new shoes, so I'm putting together some outfits to style the shoes with. This is my little setup, so I am gonna go film. <laughs> Aftermath, filming a lookbook. <gasps> Hi, puppy. Hi. <laughs> Pass on activity. Hello, I just did my skincare. I also got my nails done, look how cute they are. I wanted kind of like a frosty white. I wanted it to be a little bit more like sheer and pinky, but now it just looks like a bright pearly white, but I'm not opposed to it. I just did my skincare. I actually need to put on my glasses. Today is a work day and my stomach hurts because last night Brand and I were in Pasadena celebrating like a belated birthday dinner for his grandma. As you all may know, Brad and I live with his grandma. We adore her. Her name is Joan, and she celebrated her 79th birthday, I believe. So we had a nice Italian dinner, but today I am suffering the consequences because my stomach hurts so bad. Anyways, skincare is all done. Let me just show you really quick what I used. Why not? Talked about this cleanser in my Sephora VIB recommendations video. You already know I love this. Best cleanser ever. Uruoi. Um... This is a Japanese skincare brand, like ultra gentle, reminds me a lot of First Aid Beauty, but kind of like Japanese beauty, which I love. So this is um, a toner that I have been using recently and I really enjoy it. And then I went in with the Glow Recipe Redness Relief Serum. This is actually new. I have used a good amount of that. I really like that serum because it's really soothing and kind of hydrating as well. So I kind of use that as like a little buffer because I am using the different adapt. Adapalene? Adapalene. Adapalene gel acne treatment and this is actually a drugstore like retinoid, retinol situation and I've been testing out for the last few weeks and I actually really really like it. It's really rough on my skin. I have pretty sensitive skin. I also have oily acne prone skin. I find that it works really best when I have like something hydrating on my skin to begin with instead of just applying it on my bare skin just because I feel like it kind of like acts as a light barrier so it's not super super rough on my skin. So I've been testing this out. I really really like it so far. Especially for a drugstore product. It's pretty affordable, really effective. You just kind of have to see if it works for your skin and what best like method works for you, but definitely planning on reviewing this soon because I've actually been very, very impressed with it. And then I went in with this Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. This actually came out like a year ago and I just now started using it. It is an ultra thick cream. And what I love about Pharmacy too is, I haven't talked about their brand in a really long time, but they're one of my favorite like OG skincare brands, but their packaging is so cute. It has like a little metal spatula that like is magnetic. So it's just like a cute little design situation. They actually have a lightweight moisturizer called the Honey Drop that I've loved for years and years. And this is what Brandon keeps in his little like bag. Eye cream, I just started using the Clarins Total Eye Lift. I'm not sure if this has retinol in it or not. I hate when brands don't list the ingredients on their products. It just says it's like a 
lift replenishing eye concentrate but it doesn't tell me like what active ingredient so i actually only use this once to two times a week but it's super hydrating and makes my under eyes look really really good so my skin feels really plump and primed i think i'm just gonna do some work in bed i'm actually going to work out with Ginny tomorrow and then we are going to shoot some photos brand and i play tennis today and today's the first day that i actually beat him and we actually went and bought uh, tennis rackets a couple of weeks back so we have like these fancy schmancy rackets that we had customized to us today's the first day that i actually beat him usually it's like pretty close and he ends up beating me or it's like I win the practice round and then he wins at the end. But today I just whooped his ass. No, it was a close game, but I barely beat him. Proud moment for me. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to do some work in bed. This is breakfast. Some toast, prosciutto, a little bit of olive oil. This one has salami and avocado. And then Brandon and I had Vietnamese food yesterday. So these are egg rolls. Hello friends, I am back home. I am actually about to go skating with Jenny, but today is Saturday, so it has been a full week of vlogging, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little vlog. Last few days I didn't really vlog. I actually hung out with Sophia um, and her sister. I actually recorded a podcast with them earlier in the week, and their podcast is called Second Thoughts Podcast. And on that podcast, we talked about like being Asian American, being raised by Asian American parents, and kind of the struggles that we all went through as Asian Americans being raised by such traditional parents wanting to pursue a more freelance career. So that podcast episode would be super interesting. Should be out in a couple of weeks. So if it's up by the time this vlog is live, I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description box. I've talked about it here and there on my Instagram as well. And I just feel like it is so important to acknowledge some of the struggles that we go through, especially if you want to pursue a more like entrepreneurship career, something that's not a corporate nine to five job. Sometimes it's hard to get your family to support you or understand what you want to do with your life sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission and that's just the way that i live my life i've talked about my story a couple of times on my channel so if you guys are more interested in how i started as a youtuber and how i started making this a full-time career and how my parents kind of took that when i first told them and when i told them i was first moving to la and all that stuff i do have like a tea time get ready with me video all about this topic. So I'll go ahead and link it up in the corner if you haven't yet seen that, but I'm gonna conclude this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you thumbs up this video if you do like it. That lets me know that you wanna see more vlogs, more like chill lifestyle videos, but my skin also has been looking really, really good. I have my makeup suitcase here and I am just gonna get ready 
so that when Ginny comes over, we can go skating. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. I will see you all next time. Bye.